may just look like some little thing. It's a water dropper and it's for you to do a really cool experiment. Now, we've given you this so you can measure drops as you count them. What you'll need from your house are a quarter, cleaned off, a little bit of water, not too much. I have about a half cup right there and that's more than enough. Now this is dish soap, the kind you use for washing dishes. And use something like a sponge or a towel to dry up anything that you need. Okay, let's begin. Take your dropper, squeeze it, put it in the water, and it's gonna get some water in there. Now, this is the part where you go slowly and add drops of water to the quarter and count them. One, two, three, four, five, and keep going. You'll see the water bubble up onto the quarter and do it all the way until the quarter is so full that one drop finally, boom, makes it burst and fall off of the quarter. Now write that number down. You're going to do it four times. Now the reason we did four tries without any soap was to see the average, more or less, how many drops fit on the quarter before the water spills off and to look at the surface tension. You probably have heard to get an average, you would add all four of those numbers up and then divide it by four. That would show you your average number. Now we're going to take our soap and add it to the water. Stir it up with the dropper. And on your dry quarter, start the same process to see how many drops will fit. Count them. Two, three, four. Keep going to see how many will fit. See if the surface tension looks different. You're gonna do this four times. So as you can see, it makes a big difference when soap's added to water. It changes the surface tension. That's why creatures like water striders, who are part of an ecosystem, they can't land on the water when there's soap in it. So washing a car outside, not such a good idea. We want to keep things like soap out of our watershed. Soap inside's clean and good, but outside, not so good.